All right. So this is the first video Q&A session, and this really is brought on by this next question. So if you guys like this, let me know, and I'll keep doing it this way. Maybe get some more information out of this and maybe a little bit more entertaining than just reading uh, my thoughts on paper. Okay, so I'll let you read above. Okay, so were you ever in a situation like this where you had to choose between fiscal responsibility and following your dreams? They're afraid once they take a full-time job, they'd stop doing art. So... Because you're already thinking of it, I'm not actually too concerned about you losing uh, your ability to do art and work at the same time. Um, it happens uh, every day to every person, so you just have to prioritize. You know, a lot of people, uh, they have time for stupid TV shows and Facebook and the internet and video games and everything else, which is great. But uh, if you have time for all those things, you have time to make artwork. So don't be too afraid about making the artwork. Now, if it's the other way, um, where you had to choose between fiscal responsibility and following your dreams. That happens on a regular basis to me, to everybody else I know. Uh, it's one of those things, it's called a balancing act. Um, if you have, you know, uh, kids, if you have a wife, you have to be a good partner. Uh, you got friends, you've got, a, you have to be social in some sort of way. You can't be one of those crazy cave troll people. Uh, you have to go out there and, and do some sort of sport or, or, or run or do something, be active in some sort of way. You have to engage online like this where you get out of your comfort zone and you have to do stuff like this where you have no idea if anybody's even paying attention and they don't even contact you back and then you're all of a sudden you're just screaming out into the space and nobody's there. Okay, so do you choose between the two? Yes, you have to go back and forth. Um, I've taken plenty of jobs uh, that I didn't necessarily like and weren't creative freedom, and but they helped pay the bills or they helped me get art supplies or they helped me get this nice little webcam that I can now talk to you with. So all of those things uh, add up to it. So what I'd like to do is sort of um, shrink myself down. And so here, most people, and you know, I talk to my students when I, you know, and, and everybody wants to know, how do I get from there to there, right? Basically, this could be your job, your career, an issue you have. It could be life. And they want to go, how do I get from here to here? That's, that's all I want. Get me there as fast as I can. And I'm saying if you really look at this and if you look at this as an artist, this is a very boring job, career, life right? It's very boring. I, I look at people who I see copy one artist and kind of just go on repeat and do exactly what they do. Uh, that ends up looking like their art to me. But to, but to me, it's more of, okay, I'm going to come over here. It's like, oh, I'm going to have a kid. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go over here. Da -da -da -da. Oh, hey, that was fun. Let's go over here. Boom, right? And now when you do your little circle, all these little points add up. So the same same thing can't be said for that person who has a straight line, I just want to do this one thing, how do I get there? So this is more about like, okay, let's say this is a anonymous's problem where all of a sudden they got student loans and the, the dog has a problem, I need to get a regular job. But if you keep thinking and you keep exploring and you keep trying and you're pushing yourself and then maybe over here you're like, oh, my new boss at my crazy stupid job that I have to keep just for a little bit to help out with the dog, he's great. I'm going to make him into a character one day. And you keep on to that information. And then here you decide to get an internship and, and you come in all the way here. And then this is when you get married. And then this squiggly line is when you have kids. But all these times you're drawing and you're thinking and you're doing all these things. And over here you finally get your first job. And you kind of come back over here and like, oh, I kind of backtracked a little bit. Basically, what I'm saying is this entire thing is is who you are. Uh, it's the journey is the destination. So all of this part is uh, it adds up to who you are. It makes you interesting. It makes you unique. It makes you different because we're all little snowflakes and. Uh, each one of those experiences and all the decisions you make and all the things you choose to do add up to who you are as an individual and that's what people are really looking for is who the individual is people will pay attention people have you'll have something to say and people will want to hear what you have to say and uh, all those all those things come together for that very reason um, so don't be too concerned just keep working at it but you gotta eat you gotta sleep you gotta live and you know Take the job if you have to. Make sure your dog's okay. Good luck. I couldn't find the off switch.